Well, it's March 30th today. It's been, I think, a week since I last worked on this. I'm gonna try and finish it up either tonight or tomorrow, because I said I would do the do the draw on the 31st, the end of the month. I'm getting pretty close. I just, this edge needs to be brought in a little bit. Meanwhile, I can try and make this a little bit nicer looking, try and regularize it a little bit, but I think it's always gonna look kind of messy. Here, it's a little, there's like a weird grainy spot. I don't know if that shows up on video. Yeah, and then I think this was actually like a natural seam in the stone. Yeah, anyways, I freshly sharpen that up a little bit. And I think I'll probably try and do a round of pressure flaking this way. So I need to, you know, prepare the platform going that way just a little bit. I'm on camera. Like I said, it's been a while since I did any napping, so. I'm gonna kinda ease into it. I can try and get rid of that little ridge there. Right now, I don't know if that showed up on the camera or not. It was kind of the wrong angle, but I managed to get it, more or less. Hopefully after a round of flakes off this way, I can, you know, come back the other face and try and clean that up a little bit. still looks good for this job. I think I'll go from the tip to the base. You know, I can take smaller ones off here and then once I get here, this will be a nice ridge. I can follow with a bigger one, small ones, and then start a bunch of big ones and try and get a nice, you know, pattern going into the, to the, into the middle of the face. All right, enough talking. Time to gear down. I 
I'll leave the very tip alone until much later. Right until the very end, probably. I think the plates I was taking was a, at least this one, was a little too small. Kind of timid probably after not napping for a week. Adjust this camera a little bit. Yeah, that's a little better, I think.
thought I snapped that thing in half for a second. That was a large flake. Nice, another big one there. Those two were very helpful. I needed something big back here. It's it was and still is a little bit thick right there, you can see. That's the high spot. Nice, that was a pretty straight, narrow flake there. I really like this thinner pressure flaker, especially for this late stage stuff. getting a little too narrow down here now. Looking a little off center, maybe. Off kilter.
See, I want to take another thinning flake off there, but I don't know if I should. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I can get away with that. It should be a lot more triangular, you know, straight converging edges rather than this kind of more rounded convex shape. Yeah. Okay. I can take some flakes this way. Gonna have to be real careful down here. I don't think I should hold it over the you know, the notched part of the pad. Try and get it all out here. Nice. That went, that was a nice, you know, covering flake. Almost got part of it. Getting better. One tiny, tiny flake at a time. I might have to do another part to this series. I don't know if I have another 20 minutes of energy in me tonight. Nice, that worked out. Now, because longer videos take you know, much longer to upload. I think it's probably better if I upload a smaller video tonight. And tomorrow I post another 20 to 30 minute video to finish it off. Always underestimate how much or you know how long the pressure flaking stage lasts for myself anyways I always get very you know probably a little too meticulous about 
my edges and shape and whatnot. I said I would more or less leave the tip alone. But I think I think maybe I can just kinda finish it up right now. I need to take a little bit more off this this edge, but I think I think the tip is in the right spot anyways. Just give my pressure flaker a little abrade here. Just that little bit there.
the part of me that craves symmetry is not very happy right now. really put an end to this video so I can get it uploaded tonight and at least have this part to show for the the 31st tomorrow by the time it you know processes the 4k version I always wait for that before I make the videos public Well, now this needs to be brought in from here to here. I'm already at 30 minutes. Just one more sequence of flakes here. Not trying to make them long ones, just trying to leave a regular edge behind afterwards.
closer. Really should not be playing around finishing the tip yet, but just couldn't help myself. When I'm in the zone and I see something, I just gotta do it. Alright, well that's enough for this one. I'm actually quite pleased with what I was able to do today. That really brought things closer to a point that I can be happy about. I think I have basically the, the final shape. It's not perfect, but I won't do anything too crazy to finish this up. Mostly I'll just, you know, prepare the edges. I'll finish the base and then I'll do the serrations and that'll be that. So probably another 20 or 30 minutes tomorrow and the giveaway piece will be finished. After a grueling, I guess it will be a 13 part video series. I don't know how many hours I've put into this at this point. Probably five hours maybe more six I don't know anyways Dalton point almost complete if you don't know by now this is a giveaway piece that I'm giving away to celebrate 500 subscribers to the channel and in the almost month since I announced that, I've had 32 more subscribers, so I'm at 532 as of today, March 30th. That's pretty awesome. Thanks to everybody else who's subscribed. If you want to join in and put your name in the draw to win this piece, please like the video, leave a comment on it, and subscribe to the channel. Any of those would be really appreciated overall, but if you do all three, you'll be put into a draw which I guess at this point will be probably very early April just a couple days behind schedule all right that's enough for now as always thanks for watching catch you next time cheers